Hello everyone, I'm Pragati. I welcome you all to the third episode of In Conversation with SMHRDians. Today we have with us Pooja Mohite, who interned with Infraline Energy and also did live project with KPMG India and Rohit, who interned with EY. They are the students from Infrastructure Development and Management Specialization, which is a niche course offered at SMHRD. So let's hear from them. Hi Pooja, hello Rohit, how are you guys doing? Hi, Pragati. I'm good. Yeah, I'm doing good as well. Great. So my first question is for you, Pooja. What is infrastructure development and management and how is your course designed at SCMHRD? Yeah, so uh, to answer the first part of your question, Pragati, uh, we understand that, you know, there is a rising importance of uh, infrastructure in the economic development globally. And uh, companies are now focusing on investments in infrastructure and business operations. So IDM, which is the Infrastructure Development and Management, is a niche two-year full-time MBA course at a CMHRD. And it focuses on the aspects of project or product management, project finance, operations and supply chain management, planning and execution. Now, uh, this focus lies across different sectors, including energy, transportation, urban infra and IT2. Second part of your question, the curriculum of MBA IDM has a good blend of classroom learning as well as industry exposure through the experiential learning activities. We have diversity of engineers, architects, urban planners, and many more who are pursuing this course. It develops these skills and capabilities, which trains you well to step into your professional career. It is nice to know that you get holistic exposure at SMHRD through this niche course. So Rohit, how has it been interning with EY? Can you please share your experience? I would say it was immersive, which helped me live the life of a consultant in a condensed form through the versatility and complexity of riveting projects that I got to be a part of, despite the limitations posed by the pandemics. Uh, I was involved in multiple projects throughout my stint, and the responsibilities were shared with the right amount of guidance, which helped me learn and grow. I was always cherish the exposure and experience that I got from EY. What about you, Pooja? Can you please share your experience as well? Yeah, sure. So uh, my internship experience with Infalen Energy and KPMG India was really enriching. I was working with the power and renewables domain and it provided me an opportunity to not only implement my learnings of uh, project management and strategic business management, but also understand and learn the industry best practices and consulting. It also provided me an overview of the energy sector and the guidance provided by the team. Uh, overall, the experience was really enriching and I had a great time in learning there. It's great to know that you had a wholesome experience in such a short span of time. My final question for the day is for you, Rohit. What piece of advice would you like to give to prospective IDM students? I would start with a differentiation first between MBA and an MBA in infrastructure domain, uh, infrastructure domain in particular. I think an MBA in a domain like this uh, comes from the decision making, which is extremely non erratic. And every decision that is taken is non arbitrary. And which makes peer learning immense in this course because of the common leanings of the batch, right? And also the diverse curriculum becomes a strong underpinning of our careers in fields ranging from supply chain to general management. So if you're someone who has been a part of infrastructure domain or even interested in exploring its intricacies, an MBA in infrastructure development and management from SCMHRD is the place that will bring you tailored opportunities. That is great to know and aspirants will definitely find this helpful. Thank you for the wonderful insights on the course and also for sparing your time. I'm sure the aspirants will definitely find this highly helpful. 
tune in next week for another insightful discussion thank you